Hi students and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up margins. All right, so margins you find or you will find on the layout tab of your Microsoft Word document. It's on the far left hand side where you have your margins. If you click on margins, you have already preset um, customized margin settings available that you can use. And they actually come in pretty handy. So what is a margin? Let's start there. A margin is the parts of your page, or it's the size of your page. It's where there's the empty space. So it all depends on where your words begin. So here you can see there's quite a big empty space because this margin is set to mirrored. All right, so if you click on normal, that's your margin. If you click on narrow, for example, as you can see narrow. So the margin became quite smaller on both sides. And then you have moderate, which is kind of like, mm, it's not, it's not too much. It's not too little. So moderate is actually a pretty good margin to go with. Um, and then you have wide, as you can see, it's a quite a wide and a big margin that we're using. All right. What you can, or what you sometimes also have to do is in this is particularly in a word question, they will ask you to go and perhaps set the margin. Then you have to go, if you can't find it over here, you have to go down to custom margin and you can physically type in left and right, top or bottom, it's mostly left and right. All right, now this margins over here is currently set up for inches. You can set margins in inches or you can set it up in centimeters. And the question paper will specify, I personally prefer centimeters and I'm going to show you how to set up margins to be in centimeters. To set up margins in centimeters, you can go to file, you go right down to options, you go to advanced, and you scroll down. to under display show measurement units currently it's set to inches you can change that and you can change it to centimeters you can even set it up for millimeters points and i don't know what that one is because but the most the one that you are most likely going to use is inches in centimeters as i said the question paper will specify both of them so here we have centimeters and then you click okay if I go back to margins, you will see that's now set to centimeters. All right. So if they ask you to change the margins, say for example, they ask you to change the margin to 3.17 left and right. If they specify left and right, that means that you need to go and change only left and right, for example. So here, because I've already set up my margins to centimeters, I don't have to type in cm. I don't have to type in centimeters, the word centimeters. All I have to do is I just delete what's in there and I type in the um, the measurement 3,17 left, for example, and 3,17 for right. And then I just click on OK. And then it will change. If I go to margins, custom margin, you will see there it is. I can also set this particular margin as a default margin. So by clicking on set as default, in other words, you want, if you work on the same margins every single day, then you can use to, you can use the set as default option. It's going to tell you, do you want to change the default settings for, for page setup? This change will affect all new documents based on a normal template. So just be careful, don't use default if you are in an exam situation. However, in a private, personal situation, if you like to work in a specific margin um, setup, then you can set your margins as default. And every single time that you open up Microsoft Word, um, the margin will then automatically be set to whatever you have set as a default setting. All right, thank you so much students for watching. And that's margins in a nutshell.